Hello everyone, Shadow Bash here, back with another Subnautica video. I hope you're having a good day, thank you for coming to join me today. Um, right, I've got some um, thing that I want to be open about. Um, I've had a few uh, video issues over the last couple of days uh, with an update with uh, my graphics drivers. And um, I did do a video of building the Cyclops, but unfortunately it did not come out very well. Um, so, unfortunately I tried to see if I could revert back to a save that I already had, and I could not find it. So, unfortunately, um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Because I also did some building part A's, also did some updates to the base as well. So, as you can see, the bulkheads have gone, um, so that I can have a bit more space around the place. Um, I've got some plant pots, planters now, and as we go into the communal room, as you can see, I've got a nice glass dome at the top here. I've got some um, plant pots that have got Ming plants in them. Um, what else? Um, got. Let's just grab some to eat a minute before. Not really do that much. Um, yeah, as you see, I've got glass dome. I've got some plant pots. Uh, I've got to go further on in here in the storeroom. I've got some more plant pots with some trees in them. And if we go into here, I've decorated this room as well. And um, I've got some plant pots in here. Uh, also, something else I want to show you on this side as we go through this door, we have a fish tank. Full of different fish, uh, well, different species of um, what's going on, uh, different species of animals that are uh, all in the sea. So, as you can see, there's a couple of eggs down there, they're going to be hatching soon. Um, we got a sand shark, three stalkers, we've got a cuttlefish, that one there, we've got four rays, uh, five rays, five, yeah, five rays which I probably will actually let out. So as you can see, we can go down to the bottom, we can go inside. Let's see if we can grab the rays a minute. Rabbit ray, rabbit ray, rabbit ray. Grab the rabbit ray, rabbit ray. Right, so they should be all be in our inventory. Yep, so they are. We will go and release them into the wild. And as you can see, I'll show you from the outside in a minute as well. Uh, so we dive in here. And I think we can let the rabbit rays out over here. Just so that it's just dropped, 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 dropped. Right, so they should now either stay around the base. If I, yeah, I've dropped all five of them off. There's five of them. One, two, three, four. Let's see number five somewhere. I'm sure I had five. There is five behind me. So yeah, as you can see, I have been busy. Um, as you can see, we now have the Cyclops. Unfortunately, the video for that, building for that, got corrupted. Which was a bit of a shame, really. Um, if we can go inside and have a look. Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. So we've got five lockers. Because we're going to use the Cyclops at some point and go down and fix up that base that's under the, it's down in the Grand Reef. Now you see here, this is a docking area. We can either have the prawn suit or the uh, sea moth in here. It's going to be the prawn suit more than anything else. If we go up here, up this side, uh, this is the engine room. We've got somewhere where we can store all our um, modules for the Cyclops, which I think, I'm pretty sure I actually have. Close the door, we've got a decoy loading tube where we can upgrade that. And I will show you here because this is the fabricate for the Cyclops. So, still haven't got the, um, oh, what's it called? Still haven't got the Mark 1 depth module. Still can't find that one, so unfortunately we'll have to try and have a look at that at some point today. Um, we've got the fire suppression system, the Cyclops docking bay repair module, sonar, and obviously the decoy upgrade tube, which we can do, to be honest. So we close up this door. We have a choice of six in those. As you can see, this is where we would jump in and out the Cyclops. Uh, sorry, in and out the docking bay for the Cyclops. We might put some stuff in here and go from there. We'll close up the door. And so we have 
the health bar of the Cyclops, anything that's on the so anything on the top, there is a button here that turns the lights on and off, but I don't think it's working until I actually switch it on. So let me just turn it on. As you see, we've got death, mate, uh, death meters of 500. So let's turn that on. Turn that on, sorry. Should be able to, there we are. Let's turn on the lights. Front, as you can see, lights are on the side there. And that one turns off the interior lights. And as you can see here, we got the we can change the submarine's name, which is pretty cool. So if we grab on this, and also we have got horn. So we got cameras on the side. So we got the bottom, the back of the t uh, back of the propeller, and also on top. So we've got good good view of the base. Ignore that. That's just where I'm sat at the moment. So if we switch that off, so we've also I got slow speed. Standard speed a and a head flank. Speed. Head flank is obviously faster speed. So turn that down. Engine let's turn that off. Down. And let's go on down. Can we access this? Oh, now we can. So, but what we do, we leave it off. So, yeah, that's a little tour of the Cyclops. I think it's pretty neat, actually. It's going to help us out so much when we. Um, oh, blimey, God, you made me jump. Um. That Cyclops will help us out a lot for going down deeper. Um, as I say, I want to go back down into the Lost River at uh, some point as well. So we're looking from the outside of the base as well. We've also got the dome, which we can go in and out the side here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. So we have a little bit uh, oh, what they call they're like an observatory, um, little observatory dome where we can see where things are. We can just see things around us. You can see it's getting night time now. Um, I am going to turn that music down just a tad bit, I feel, because that is just a tad bit too loud. So let's knock it down to 60 and back out of that one. Back to game. Um, actually, I'll turn that down one more. Go down to 55, I think. Or should we just go down to... Yeah, let's go down to 50. Let's have a halfway, so then that way it's easier then. That's better. So, yeah. I will actually go to bed. And see, we'll wake up in two seconds, and uh, I'll show you the rest of it all outside. We'll go through these the uh, docking bays, but yeah. Oh, spade fish. Oh, were they blue egg spade fish ones. Let's have a look. So if we take a wander back through. Oh, come on. Spade fish? No. Where are they then? Oh, there they are. You can see them. Just something there. No. We'll have to go inside and have a look, I think. Let's have a look. Should be some spade fish in here, apparently. My spade fish are hatched. But I cannot find them. There they are, right there, look. There's one. So, what else have we got in here then? We, I think we gained two more stalkers. It's not too bad then. So we've got our cuttlefish, our sand shark, and a couple of stalkers, which I probably should. I can't grab you. Why can't I grab you? I'll grab you, though. Grab you, though. Grab you. Grab you. Come on, give me you. Oh, inventory's full. Okay. So why is that full? Blimey, they take up a bit. <laughs> they take up a bit of space. What I plan to do with this area is um, is to. Um, expand it. Uh, might go down one more but I plan to get some more glass all along the side here. As you can see I've got some glass on the top of the dome for a bit of uh, visual effect so yeah so I need to keep, I'm going to keep this side completely completely covered. There's just no point in having it behind. So yeah where I've removed all the bulkheads and everything else I've had to filter the the strength of the base on the back just so that it's it so that it can take the the, the weight of the base because we got loads of platforms down here but we haven't quite got enough right so yeah uh, what do we need to do so we need to find let's see what we can find let's see what we can find uh, so we need we got all that. Cyclops death module we still need to find. That we still need to find some cat ca uh, Karenite for. 
Uh, right, so we don't have that, and we don't have that, so let's find... What else have we got? I haven't got enough of that, I haven't got enough of that, and I haven't... Oh, I could do that right now, actually. Have we got any more we can do down here? It looks like there's some more. Oh yeah, that's what we need right now, is a power cell charger, but... I don't think we generally do, because, um... What, actually? Might top up the old. Uh, might top up the old. Um, what's it called? The bioreactor. Let's grab some more mushrooms. Right. So why are we why are we so full? Oh yeah, we need to drop, drop, drop. Yep. Okay, that's fine. You're noisy and loud. Yep. That's fine. Let's go in this one because the bioreactor's back here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And let's chuck in some more mushrooms. We can fit two, four, six, so we've got enough for six. Huh. Right, where are they? Over here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's head back to the bioreactor. In the next video, I plan on carrying on the quest line and actually getting this story done because it needs to be done. Um, but yeah, it, it's taken a while for um, me to actually uh, get the storyline going, unfortunately. Right, so let's head into the Cyclops and see what we need. Lights are off. So let's turn the lights on a minute so I can actually see what I'm doing. What have we got in here then? Right, so we are going to need. I'm pretty sure we've got an engine engine efficiency module in the base. So let's go and have a look. At least that way we can start that off. But what we will do first of all is I need to get. I need that one, and I need. Uh, I don't think I need that one. I got that one. I got that one. I got that one. Shield generator we are going to need, which we should be able to find. Um, I do actually need to do some um, research and figure out where everything is because I can't remember off the top of my head. Right, um, so we need ruby, which I think is in... No, that's gold. Two ruby, two titanium... And an advanced wiring kit. So how do we make the advanced wiring kit? Two silver or gold and a computer chip. What's a computer chip? Table coral. Uh, table coral. We've got one too. Oh, I have one in here actually. Might still need a computer chip though. Still need a computer chip. It's gold and... Need some gold. And we also need some copper. If you notice that the lockers are starting to look a bit more full because I think these two are empty for the moment. Oh no, I've got lead in that one. Purely because um, I've been doing, again, I did a lot of stuff on camera and then everything seemed to have crashed on me, which I was a bit upset about. But it's done now. So I'm here now and I've managed to fix everything I need. Oh, and it's two gold. Two gold, okay. That's fine. Is there gold in this one? Nope. Is there gold in this one? Yeah, we'll take the ones out of this one. And then we'll make this advanced wiring kit. And now, we can build a... Let's build one of these. Actually, I don't want it there. Let's... Uh, what's it called? Build it there. And then we grab all the batteries out of here a minute and we'll deconstruct this one. And then we'll put it back over here. At least that way it looks kind of central. There we are. So we can now have back two battery charges in there at the same time, so it's not too bad. Let's check these batteries in. Ah, ah there's the e engine's efficiency module, so let's check them in there. In here, we will check the two salt, the 
we'll go and put this engine in fit. Oh no, actually we don't need that right now. And what I need is... Is it the sonar upgrade? It's, I'm pretty sure we can do that. So we'll do that one as well. We'll unpin that. Um, plant... Uh, unpin that thing. Right. So let's go in here. Uh, right, computer chip. What was it for a computer chip again? Table coral, gold and copper wire. So, two table coral. Nope, that's quartz. I don't need any quartz. Two copper wire and two gold, I think it was. We'll take two just to be on the safe side. And that way at least it's done then. Pretty sure it's just the one. Yeah, it's just the one. So there's that one, so now we need the magnetite. I'm pretty sure I've got some in here. One, two, three, there we go. So let's get, have I got the uh, engine efficiency module? Yes I have, let's drink some water a second. Let's go and stick this engine efficiency module on as there as well. That way it should help protect power cells. And we'll go this way I think. Go through here. There we are. So there's that one. And we'll put them both in here. So if we go check that one there. And then that one there. So now. Yeah. So which one of your batteries is the one that's taking the beat in that one? So let's unpin that a minute because we don't not we do not need that right now. Because I want to 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 oh, what's the word I'm looking for? To transport the materials that we need to go up and down, I need to get the cyclops up together. Really need to get this cy cyclops up together. Wow, that stretch is quite far actually. Should we take this thing for a spin? Let's turn that off. Let's take this thing for a spin, shall we? How far are we away from the... That shouldn't hit the rocks. Right, the aurora is there. Right, so let's make a move this way. Hit flank, emergency speed. Morning. Vessel calculated. Excessive noise. Let's go down. Just take this for a spin. See what you guys think of it. Oh, blimey, that goes off quite far. And it goes into the mushroom field as well. So we we'll go back Warning. on the engine overheat. Right, let's turn it back that down to that. Fire Brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted right now. That's why I need to fire percent the here we are. Is that gonna kill it? Fire extinguished. Right. Air scrubbers initiated. Put that back on there. Let's go down. Let's go back on the camera. At least that way I can see what's going on. It's sometimes you'll find you'll probably see most of the time I will end up using the underneath under the carriage under carriage view view because it's just so much easier for maneuverability. Um, I didn't notice it did that. Oh, that was a bit close. Let's go down a bit more. Having the lights on is absolutely pointless. Look at the vi look at the visibility. Nothing. Right, where are we headed to? That's the side of the aurora there. There's the Reaper Leviathan over there. We must must try and avoid that if possible. There he is over there. I wonder how far this goes before we start hitting Ghost of Leviathan territory. I would like to get um what creature attack. Oh. It's fine, don't need to worry about that because he'll go now. 
Oh, this goes down this way. How far down does it go? Let's go and explore. Another one. They'll stop attacking me soon. How far down are we going? As you can see, look, even the light and the darkness just... Oh, you got the radar there. I forgot we had that. Oh, there's a Reaper Leviathan there. Is that one there? Blimey, I didn't realise there was one all the way down here. Let's go back into the camera mode a minute. So where is he? Go on, shine it again. He's over there. Go down. How far down are we going? Where's he gone? I've lost him now. There we go. I can hear him. He's over there. We'll go switch this to silent running, I think. Rig for silent running. There you go, you can see him now, look. He's right there. Just keep an eye out on the radar a minute. That one's quite low down and he's underneath me. Where's the camera? Where is he? He's over there. I'll head out this way a little bit. Quite far away from the base, actually, come to think of it. Something's hitting me. Okay, get ready for another creature attack. There's, there's quite a few. I didn't realize how far this goes. I've never really gotten this way, to be honest. Here we are. Attacking me now. I think we're coming to the edge here, to be honest. Yeah, coming to the edge here. Because that's the back entrance. What the devil? Go away. I can see you. Do me a favour and go away. Where's the other one to then? It's the Leviathans, the big boys. Those guys that actually do some serious damage. Have to be somewhere. A oh, we can go for it. Oh, there's another one there. Jesus Christ! How many are there? It's normally one. I normally find one or two at the back, one at the front, and one at the back at the aurora. I never see him out here this far. I've never, mind you, I've never used sonar out. Oh, he's got face into the. Is he face into the? Yeah, he's facing in and out. Right. Well, he's there. He's not causing me any harm. So. We'll go for... we won't rig for silent running, let's just get the hell out of here. What's our power consumption like? Right, we need to turn that off and we need to start heading back. Let's go Adding for flank. it. Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel counterfeit. Excessive noise. Just try and get back and up as fast as possible. Blimey, we are out in the middle of nowhere. The head standard. This just feels like, yeah, we're down to 39%. Need to get some better batteries. Or at least when we ever go down, it's take some with us. There's a crash wreck there. I wonder if that's the one I've already... I think that's the one I've already been to. There's the Reaper Leviathan there. Let's go down and have a closer look. There he is. Oh, hang on. Let's turn that on. Whoa, blimey. There he is. Aha. I think we... What's that over there? Right. You shouldn't be doing me any harm. He's coming for us now. Excessive noise. You're not doing any damage to me, though, are you, mate? See, you feel a bit more dis indestructible in this thing. I feel. Uh, where's he gone? Morning. Engine. Overheat. The head standard. Morning. Creature attack. Yep, it's fine. 
I will just keep going. Warning. External hull damage detected. Uh oh. And I want to get out of the way of this guy. And we're down to 23%. I want to... Where is he? He's still there. Go down. Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Oh, there we are. Look, we got some things that need repairing. Where's the base to? Over here. It's dark now, so I kind of really need that snow sonar. Oh, we're heading to the mushroom forest. Right, I think we might be a bit safer now. Yeah. Right, so let's turn that off. Oh, we've taken a bit of a battering. As you can see, look, oh, blimey, we've got a few. Right, okay. Um, let's take the battery out of that one. And then put him in that one. And let's see if we can repair these whole fractures. You can see they're coming through the. Hold on, did it actually show me? Yeah, look. Whole fractures. All over the place. We need to get these fixed now before the thing starts to implode. Which is something we don't want. So let's start on this side. What we've got on this side? There's one here. Luckily, it's just a simple. Oh, blimey. He definitely took a chunk out of us, didn't he? Um, any on this side? One there. Any underneath? No, I think it's just this one then. Oh no, it is one here, look. I think that's everything. Yeah, that's everything. I'll just go and double check the scanner. Uh, we are good to go. Right, let's head back to base. Because we are at 20%. And I need to get this guy back to base so I can charge the batteries. How far are we away? Ahead flanked. Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel calculated. Excessive noise. Let's get there as soon as possible. And then we can uh, actually probably end up calling it a day on them. Morning. Engine. Overheat. Ahead standard. Oh, fire detected. Right, let's get the fire extinguishers out. Again. Where is it? Come on then. Is that thing out? Surely. There we go. And let's put this back on here. Actually, we're not that far away, look. We are not that far away. Need to get this guy back so that we can repair it. doing this wrong, I need to come in and then swing it around. So if we come in this way and swing it around like so. Go forward again. Yeah, let's get a bit close to the wall there. And then Get to about here, I think, middle. Swing it on up on its axle, but go up. I know what that is. Don't worry about that. And then go down. I think it might be a bit too far over. Too far, how far away is that? Oh, okay. We seem to have uh, got hold of a fish. So let's turn Engine that off. Powering down. I think what we'll do is I'm going to take all the batteries out of this one and charge them. Uh, what have we got in here? 114. I'll take you. 
I'll take you. These guys are going to be out completely. There we are. And we go on back. And I think what we'll do is turn the lights off. Just to save some electric. Right. We are a bit further away than normal, but that's fine. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave it there. We take a little joyride in the Cyclops. I've really apolog apologies for not actually having it. Um, not actually getting it done on camera. I was a bit, I was a bit, ups I was a bit annoyed with the software when it crashed like that. To be honest, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah. So hopefully in the next episode we'll find out what's going on with the old radio signal. I've been trying to say that for the last couple of uh, couple of episodes, but. Nothing seemed to have um, prevailed from it, which is a bit of a shame, really. Um, but... Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. But... We should really start doing that. We do also do need to go back to the Aurora at some point to find some other stuff. I'll probably add that into a video at some point. Anyway... That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming to join me on this Wednesday afternoon. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like. If you did like it, why not subscribe and then hit the bell and then you'll be notifi notified when I'm uploading the video next. So, again, thank you very much for coming to join me today and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.